Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, angle bisector CD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this side length uh, AC is uh, 3 units. This other side length uh, BC is uh, 4 units and this uh, angle bisector is being represented by X and as a result, uh, this angle uh, ACD is equal to this angle uh, BCD. In other words, uh, both of these angles are congruent. And furthermore, uh, the area of this whole uh, triangle uh, ABC is uh, 3 times uh, square root of 3 square units. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, bigger uh, triangle uh, ABC. Let's assume that this whole angle uh, ACB is uh, theta. And now let's make an observation. We know that the area of this uh, triangle ABC has been given to us as uh, 3 times square root of 3 square units and its uh, two side lengths uh, are uh, 3 and uh, 4 uh, units. Therefore, let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle C as you can see in this uh, triangle. Here we got uh, these two side lengths uh, A and uh, B and C is the angle uh, between them and in our case uh, our two side lengths are 3 and uh, 4 and uh, angle between these two side lengths uh, is uh, theta. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Area has been given to us uh, as uh, 3 times the square root of uh, 3 equals to 1 uh, divided by 2 times our side lengths are uh, 3 and 4 times sine of angle theta between them. Let's go ahead and simplify 3 times the square root of 3 is going to be equal to on the right hand side that is going to be 6 times sine of angle theta. Let's divide both sides by 6 to isolate sine of theta. This 6 and 6 is gone so therefore sine of theta is going to be equal to when we simplify this uh, left hand side that is going to give us a square root of uh, 3 divided by 2. So therefore our angle uh, theta is going to be equal to sine inverse of uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 2. And now we know that sine inverse of square root of 3 divided by 2 is uh, simply 60 degrees. So therefore we conclude that our angle uh, theta turns out to be 60 degrees. So therefore all this whole angle theta is going to become uh, 60 degrees. And moreover we know that uh, this uh, CD is the angle bisector. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle uh, ACD is going to be half of that uh, 60 degrees is going to be 30 degrees and likewise uh, this other angle uh, BCD is uh, 30 degrees uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, big triangle ABC is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two individual areas. This area of this uh, triangle uh, ACD plus uh, the area of this other uh, triangle uh, BCD. And now we know that the area of this triangle uh, ABC has been given to us uh, as uh, 3 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So therefore we are going to focus now on these uh, two individual triangles uh, ACD and this other triangle uh, BCD. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ACD and we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ACD. 
And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half times a times b times sine of angle c. As you can see in this uh, triangle a and b are our two side lengths and c is the angle between them. So therefore for this uh, triangle a c d our two side lengths are 3 and uh, x and the angle between them is uh, 30 degrees. So therefore the area of this triangle ACD is going to be a half times our two side lengths are 3 and x times sine of angle 30 degrees. And now we know that sine of 30 degrees is simply 1 divided by 2. So therefore this whole thing could be written as 1 divided by 2 times this is going to become 3x times 1 divided by 2 the value of sine of 30 degrees and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us 3x divided by 4. So thus the area of this triangle ACD turns out to be 3x divided by 4 and here's our next step let's focus on this other triangle BCD and now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this triangle BCD and once again we are going to use the very same uh, area of a triangle formula and in our case uh, our side lengths for this triangle are uh, x uh, and 4 and the angle between them is uh, 30 degrees so therefore the area of this triangle BCD is going to be a half uh, times uh, we got uh, 4 times x times sine of 30 degrees and once again we know sine of 30 degrees is 1 divided by 2 so therefore the right hand side is going to be 1 divided by 2 times 4 times x times 1 divided by 2 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us x so therefore the area of this triangle BCD turns out to be X and here's our final step let's focus once again on this equation triangle ABC area is equal to some of these two individual triangles triangle ACD area plus the triangle BCD area and we know our triangle ABC area has been given to us as 3 times square root of 3 the triangle uh, ACD area is uh, 3x divided by 4 and finally the area of this uh, triangle uh, BCD is uh, x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation. So the area of triangle ABC is uh, 3 times the uh, square root of 3 equals to 3x uh, divided by 4 plus uh, x and now I'm going to tweak this x. x could be written as 4x divided by 4 to make sure we have the same denominator. As you can see in this next step I have replaced x by 4x divided by 4 and now I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal 4 divided by 7 on this side and 4 divided by 7 on this side to isolate x and here we can see this 4, 4 is gone, 7 and 7 is gone. So therefore our x value is going to be equal to when we multiply this left hand side that is going to give us 12 times square root of 3 divided by 7. So thus our x value turns out to be 12 times square root of 3 divided by 7 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 2.97 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye